Next in the den, Martin Munin's serving up a bar and beauty idea called manicures and martinis. He's asking for a quarter of a million dollars for a quarter of his burgeoning business. Hello, dragons. My name is Martin Yunan. I'm from London, Ontario. I am here to ask for $250,000 at 25% for my business. It's called Manicures and Martinis. <laughs> You're my kind of guy. <laughs> Okay, uh, I've created... You got um, a million dollar manicure business. Oh, I'm telling you. Okay. You are so going to tell me. I've created, I told you, um, beauty, I've combined two industries, beauty and entertainment. So, beauty-tainment. Um, ladies, I'm going to show you. Oh, good. Yes. Here Please we go. Please tell me they're real. Thank you. They are. Are you really kidding? Real. Of course they are. Okay. Okay, so you come in to Manicures and Martinis. It looks like a Manhattan sort of Toronto-style martini lounge, but... It's not your typical spa, so it's at that, there's the theme right there. You alone can come in, or up to 20 of your friends, and sit together and yak. And Martin's yeah. certainly optimistic about his chances for growth. So far, he's operating one store in London, Ontario, but he already wants to franchise the concept nationally, a red flag for the Dragons. Give me these numbers how I make money in this thing. Oh, you're going to make money? Because we want to open 20 stores, at least, across the country within, but, like, within the next three years. People are going to start to say, oh, oh, you know what, Winnipeg has a manicures and martinis in it. Oh, Toronto's got four now. I mean, anywhere I go, men stop me on the, I'm at the gym. Or they're walking by the shop and they're like, great concept, great concept. You guys have to admit, this is the best concept. We're a phenomenon, honey. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm not laughing. I'm just thinking it's, you're getting us drunk and then you're pitching us business. It's probably a smart idea. I'm telling you, it is, it is such a phenomenon. It's made 149000 in its first year. We blew away our target That's of 80. That's the volume or is that the... That's the gross. That's the gross. Now, there are some conditions to that. That was working without a liquor license for eight months. We were giving it away free. So the sales, the loss of sales there was, was immense, right? What were you giving away for free? The martini. So you weren't licensed but are you, you were giving away do? booze? We were giving away booze. <laughs> are you allowed <laughs> to do that? No, no. he's a crazy chicken. Do you think that could be part of the attraction of coming in? Looks like the martini part of Martin's business doesn't quite exist yet. Selling $149,000 in manicures isn't bad, but he's asking the Dragons to franchise a half-proven business model. You got to stay focused on your business here because we're going to lose it. So, okay. So, <laughs> these 149000 you're not talk. selling the martini. We're not selling the martini, so there's a loss there. there yeah. We don't have any retail in there, which could have been huge. Could you get a license in. inside that store? Could you get a license? We got it. You now have the, you now we have got the liquor it. license. We got it. I want your money for franchise development. What do you mean by franchise development? This is where you guys are going to get your return. You're going to fund me money to go across the country to do all the CFA shows, the Canadian franchise shows, to, to buy that $30,000 booth and really push. I mean, you're going to make a killing. We're all going to make a killing on this because we want to be Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver quickly. What would it cost to open up a store? Anywhere from 150 to 300,000. It's not to say Mr. You know, trillionaire wants to do you know, a Planet Hollywood style. Go ahead. But that's what we're going for. So I'm assuming you're going after the guy who owns a beauty shop or places like that no. that wants to make more money. No, I'm going no, after no, the, the franchise lawyer who's, who's sick of like doing what she's doing or whatever. I mean, a lawyer? A, we've had an, an inquiry like that already. Do or I have that to mother be at home that wants to do, you know, wants something great. But to how do. is the mother at home going to get three hundred thousand dollars to open up a store unless you have a? I'm her husband, the doctor. I mean, it's really easy. <laughs> that is so. Where do you think I got most of my money? My two hey, cousins yeah, are like anesthesiologists. Right, it's the husband who has the dough. Or whatever, or vice versa. Martin, you could drive a truck through your martini and manicure <laughs> business plan because you just don't have your numbers right. You say you invested 190, but you made 140, and you say that it's making tons of money, but you haven't paid yourself. So you need to just get your I business plan a little myself, bit no. better. Martin, what I'm, happens if you get hit by a truck? Well, what insure me. I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, but, yeah, but that's what been. I want to know. I'm the investor. Yeah, okay. But you know what? You find there's... I'm not the only dynamic person in the world, people. Come on. I mean, really. Uh, Martin, I'm, Martin I'm, having, I'm having a hard time with the numbers. We take all this energy down for a second. I'm saying to myself, this kind of sucks as an investment. Right. I can't see making any money here. i got to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I can't either. The dragons are slowly chipping away at Martin's business plan. Luckily, he's brought back up. 
franchise lawyer Dan So. Hey Dan, how are you? Why would anybody pay this guy 300 grand for what he has now? It's a potential for uh, profits uh, throughout the operation of the franchise. But there is no profit yet. Well, there potentially is. I think, have you uh, ever I think sold a franchisee on a concept that has no profits? I've had clients that have sold uh, franchises to franchisees uh, without actual profits at the time. It would be difficult to sell a system without a proven track record. But you're missing the point. You doing it in one location does not prove it can be done somewhere else. You're not making money right now. I want you to understand that. I'm, you have I'm to debt free, and that's how. No, no, but you know. the point Martin, is, that's got nothing to do with the reality of business. Pay. Someone right. has to be paid if it's not you. So right. you got to pay this person three, thirty thousand dollars a year. They're going to starve. They'll be eating cat food to stay alive. And you know, no. bottom line is here. I'm trying to figure out if you're a nut bar factor six or two. I don't right. know. But wait, when energy. you okay? So your money. My money is not going near you right now because I'm not sure this but thing it works. It will. It'll bring. I can bring in retail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, what I mean? What I want. That alone will bring up our, you know, 16, 18 a month. Look, there's the fun, Kevin, as we're having now, and there's yeah. the guy that loves for sure. his money. And that's now. Let's deal with the guy who loves his money. Right. This sucks until you start making some profit. Do you profit. think so? Okay, yes. I'm not yes. making a huge profit. If I'm, if I've paid off my business, pretty much, uh, on manicures and pedicures with no liquor sales, no retail. No makeup line in there. I mean, and no compensation Martin, read my lips. For you. You're not making you any no money. I'm willing to suffer right now. Nobody's going to get excited about putting up three hundred thousand dollars to make enough money to buy cat food to eat. Right. That's no good. So now my second year will allow us to hire a manager. Martin. Okay. Stop. Martin. Stop. I've got to tell you. I am out. Thanks. You've got to go and get five hundred thousand dollars in sales and get your act together in terms of your okay, growth strategy, and the then think year. about getting an investor. Okay? okay. You've got great energy. Thank you for the drink. Isn't it funny how much happier we are with alcohol? <laughs> Listen, Martin, way too early. I'm out. I like your energy, but it's not a business model. I'm out. I failed university math, and I don't even understand your numbers. I'm out. Martin, I love your enthusiasm. Thank Absolutely you so love it. I think you've got it. You probably got an idea and a great name. Awesome. Yeah. You got a business, build it from London. London's a tough market. I will. We went into London a long time ago and it was a tough market. And if you make it but there, you make you, it anywhere. Look at you now. Yeah. I mean, you're doing, you've got two stores there now. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's That's phenomenal. why I think you can do it well in London. Okay. But remember the ratio. Yes. All the ratio is a dollar for a dollar and a half. So okay. if you got a dollar sure. spent, you got a buck and a half back. Okay. Right. You just hand them out. So for that reason, I'm out right now. Thanks for being fun. Thanks. Right. Take care. You were fun. <laughs> Thank you. How do we get more martinis? Yeah. Uh, Thanks, they're guys. in the back, guys. Do you know, that thing is miles from profitability. Yeah. Miles and okay. miles. Hey, dragons. You know, I said I always get what I want. And what I want is 20 stores in three years. And then I'll know you'll be in.